Ocean science is very dynamic and diverse. And it takes a whole team to run a facility like this, and they're not all marine biologists. I was really thrilled when I was offered a position here at Ocean Networks because it's, it's core science. I've always been interested in subsea technology, marine exploration. I get to explore. Love to solve problems. There's always new surprises. And I enjoy working for researchers and scientists. They pose interesting challenges. They have new things they want to study. All of us here are pretty dedicated to the work we're doing to help scientists gather data, help understand the planet, and help protect it. We show how things are changing. We're starting to see patterns. We have like the instruments all cabled on the sea floor. You know, there's like never a break. The data just like comes streaming. The data is freely available and we really try and get it to the community, I'd say first. The idea is to have it as open as possible. And the ability of scientists to access that information is really a game changer. What makes it complicated is that you now need to be able to operate these things two and a half kilometers under the ocean surface. In the fairly harsh environment, high pressure, some of the locations are high temperature if you're near the hydrothermal vents, it's corrosive. Trying to find cable routes that move through areas that are actively moving. Pretty unique worldwide to have like these instruments here, which is also like very exciting for me too. The primary part of my job is to look at the hydrophone data, which is sound recordings that are taken in the ocean. I like finding the whale calls. I like all the neat sounds. Every two hours we turn our cameras on and the lights and we capture amazing behavior of animals that we don't see normally. Specifically I work with people that can use uh, Ocean Networks Canada's data for use for public safety like marine safety or earthquake monitoring, uh, tsunami information, that kind of thing. With organizations such as Ocean Networks Canada, knowing what's happening to the state of our ocean and knowing that there are major changes going on, we have the ability to make some influence into society. And I'm pretty happy knowing that something I can do will help us protect and preserve our oceans and observe our oceans and learn more about the planet. The value after 10 years is quite significant and you know, 100 years from now, if we keep doing what we're doing, it's going to tell a pretty important story about how the planet changed. The most rewarding part is knowing that what you develop is useful to society. I'm a steward. We've been building these long-term time series of data so that the next generation will have this wealth, this fire hose of data to drown in and you know, they can apply it as necessary. These observatories are going to be key to showing how quickly changes can happen and how broadly they can happen. Form decisions are, are critical and the only way to do it is with science and with evidence of what's happened prior and I think what we do is critical to that. Mm -hmm.